Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find that this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. So first of all, chosen, you know, I just want to say you're looking really good out there, okay? Your energy is very light right now. And if you haven't quite gotten to that place, you are definitely headed in that direction. You're looking great. You're feeling great. There's a high vibrational energy that is within you and all around you. And it shows like through your smile, you're smiling with your eyes, you're smiling from your soul. It's a genuine smile that's coming from you and people see it like, you know, you can just be out and, you know, where people might just be doing everyday things like you just get this warm feeling in your heart that just makes you smile from inside from the inside out. And it doesn't even have to be a smile where, you know, your face is, uh, you know, it's, it's showing on your facial expression is more or less just like an energy that exudes happiness and internal peace and satisfaction with life. And this is a very beautiful energy because it's allowing things to pick up for you at a very rapid pace. Like you have your mojo back, you have your energy back, you're able to get up and do all of those things that you once enjoyed doing. So if there was a time where you felt like, okay, you had no energy, you were just, you know, maybe resting a lot or, you know, maybe in this low vibrational dark space, I could definitely see that that time was a very necessary time for you because it brought about a lot of healing. You know, you might have had to do some healing from a past connection or, you know, past relationships that just wasn't the healthiest. But I definitely see that that season has passed or is currently passing for those of you out there. It all depends on the timeline that you're in. But this is a beautiful energy because you've gained a lot of clarity um, and you've gained a lot of truths here. Uh, you've awakened to, you know, what was lessons and, um, you know, what just occurred in your life for the sake of growth. And so you've gathered your strength, okay? You are definitely seated in your power. And, you know, people see this. People from your past are definitely um, tapping in and they see that you are genuinely happy without their energy. Some of these people, you know, you might've gone through a state of depression or grieving or confusion because you felt like they held themselves back from you. They were, you know, um, not reciprocal when you tried to express your love. Um, you might've felt like they were deceptive in some ways, you know, but I definitely see that in spite of all of that, you all have overcome you know the spell has been broken you're no longer chained and bound to past energies that would have kept you in a low vibrational space or kept you you know thinking about the past and past people and you know wanting to stay connected or trying to gain answers and clarity from other people it's just like you've accepted things for what they are and you embrace it. It's like you embrace it and you give thanks for it at this point. There's gratitude that you have for the lessons that you was able to learn through different experiences. And because of this, you know, this is what's giving you that push, that that uh, energy that you need to really pursue your goals and your passions and to make your house your home. You know, and I'm starting I'm, I'm talking about your temple internally first, you know, your your physical temple. But it's more on a spiritual, emotional and mental level. You have made your temple your home. And so wherever you go, there's just this light, this glow that's exuding from you. And that self-love is evident. It's evident because you're taking care of yourself in all areas of your life and you're protecting your energy. Um, and so this is that light is very bright. And so because the light is bright, it is attracting a lot of different energies. And it's not just attracting new energies, but it's attracting old energies who want a piece of that beautiful light that you're exuding. But they want it for the wrong reasons. And so you all um, have definitely activated your gifts. 
your DNA is activated, you are able to see things from a higher perspective. And so when these people come in new or old, you are able to listen to your intuition and know who to, you know, walk this journey with and who just can't go with you. And so there's very healthy boundaries that you have been and will be putting up for yourself when they do come in. Because again, that light that you are exuding is very, very attractive. And so regardless of who's coming towards you, you are divinely protected at all times. You know, you've taken your power back and I feel like you embrace that power that the Most High has granted you. You know, maybe at one point you let your guard down and you, you know, didn't allow yourself to see the true nature of certain lessons that was happening or certain, you know, energies that was surrounding you. But now, you know, a judgment call has been made. You made that judgment call and it's also been made on your behalf because you deserve this happiness. You deserve this uh, security and stability that is coming into your life. And so you have to protect those things that the Most High has granted you. And so some people are just coming in because they want a piece of it. Others are coming in because they want to try to sabotage your happiness because they feel like you just you're looking too good. You know, they they it's an ego death for them because it's like, how dare you be so happy in their absence? How dare you, you know, not be grieving the fact that they're not in your life? How could you not grieve them? You know, in their minds, you're supposed to be sitting over there, you know, saying, woe is me. Why isn't this person loving me? Why isn't this person reaching out to me? That's what they want. But you're far from that energy. Like you have found that internal love and peace within to the point where you're not even seeking it outside of yourself anymore. And I feel like for those of you who are single, you don't even really, you found so much happiness within yourself that you're just like, okay, if love comes great, if love doesn't come great too, because life is good. You see what I'm saying? And so because of that energy and because of the energy that you're projecting, um, for that reason, you will attract soulmates into your life, whether it's romantic or otherwise, because you're no longer, you know, resistant to where you are right now. You found peace in the now. And so that has definitely increased your power because you're free and it's very clear, like it's, it's, <sighs> It's all over you that you are just happy, you know, because you see things from a higher perspective. You know who was true. You know who was false. You know who the false friends, false lovers, false family members. You know who you had false contracts with. And so that veil has been lifted. Your eyes are completely open. And so you don't mourn it anymore. You don't mourn the losses. You realize some of these people, they was trouble troublemakers. They only came into your life to confuse you. And so now you have divine faith. You have faith in knowing that, okay, you're a chosen seed and the most high is not going to fail you when it comes to granting you those things that you desire and deserve. You know, if you sacrifice to the point where you had to give up practically everybody in your life for the sake of finding peace and healing, do you think the most high is going to neglect your desire to have genuine people in your life no mother and father is putting in work to ensure that the right people are um magnetized to you the right people are drawn to you the right people see your value and you see the value in them and so consider those people if they haven't come into your life it could be because they're still healing you know they're still healing in preparation for a connection with you and so, you know, you probably, again, you had to release certain people, but that doesn't mean that you won't be attracting all of the right people. You're headed towards your happiness here. You are headed towards your happiness. And so beautiful things are coming for you, Chosen, because you are in such a high vibrational energy. You're authentic. You know who you are. And you're not worried about what other people think about you at this point in life. I think you have outgrown that phase, that, that energy, you know, it's no longer um, relevant to you. You've accepted the fact that you are different. You are unique, that your path is very different and unique. And that, you know, um, there will be a lot of naysayers in opposition, but just as there's naysayers, there are also those who support you, those who see your value. And so keep going, you know, stay in this high vibrational energy and continue to walk by faith, you know, knowing that the most high and your spiritual team, they are working 
they are working overtime to ensure that you continue to make beautiful memories and to have these beautiful moments where you just feel like you just want to get up and dance. You know, you just want to go out and, you know, sun gaze and connect with nature and, you know, do all of the creative things that you enjoy and, you know, love on your children, love on those people that love you back. Like all of those things that you dealt with in the past, just know that the energy is clearing for you. That low vibrational energy, those heavy dark clouds, they are being dispersed. The sun is coming out for you all. And this is the sun that keeps giving because it's a light that shines from within. And so this is a beautiful energy. Congratulations to those of you who have overcome and who have gained those, you know, those lessons. They were hard. They were hard. They were, you know, troublesome. They were, you know, revealing, but they were also necessary. And so you've accepted all of those things and you embrace it. So it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to be free. And so regardless of, you know, who's watching you and who has a problem with it, the naysayers and those people who are feeling some type of way, dance harder for those people in the back. Dance even harder, smile even harder, laugh even louder, okay, for the people in the back who are just mad that you're not sitting around, you know, grieving, not having them in your life. Let them see the, the beauty in true freedom, the beauty in no longer having emotional codependencies on anyone because maybe it'll help them to do some work on themselves and to recognize that freedom is a gift that only you can create for yourself. You got to give yourself permission to be free and it starts on a spiritual level. So that's my message for you all. Please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let us know how this might resonate with your circumstance and I will talk to you all next time.